Hi there, this is Mesh and today I'm going to be talking to you about customizing text in Photoshop. If you are into calligraphy or any other writing styles and if you are interested in drawing funky text behind your notebooks, you might have noticed that uh, there are a variety of ways to draw a single letter or a single alphabet, alright? So, but in Photoshop or any word or any uh, word formatting software, you might have noticed once you select a font, you are stuck with it. Uh, in order to change uh, the kind of letter you want to change, in order to change a particular alphabet, all you have to do is to select the alphabet and change the font. That's not what we are doing here. We are going to customize the whole font, which is going to be very easy today. And I'm going to show you how to do it. First, let us write something. The font that I've selected, check here, it's Bicom Script Pro. It's an open type font. Now, let me tell you what open type font is. In order for your text to be customized, tip number one, you have to have an open type font. Now, open type font has a lot of uh, customizations already inside the font. Okay, so whenever you download the font, check whether it's an open type font. Number two, the thing is most of the open type fonts are kind of paid but some are free uh, the Bicom script pro which i'm using i downloaded from somewhere i don't know if that's legal or illegal but i got it from somewhere and it's a beautiful font and if you want i can post the link in the description below check it out if it's there and let's write something suppose i uh, write music is live i think i wrote it in white it's not vis visible uh, let's go black and that's how beautiful it is. See how beautiful the font is. Now, suppose I don't like the kind of M which is in here. Okay, I don't like the M. I want to change it. What do I do? I select the M, go to Windows, select Glyphs, Glyphs, I don't know how you pronounce it. Select go to Alternates for selection. This will show different kind of alternates that I have for this particular alphabet or letter. Now, select anyone you like whoa now that's beautiful okay suppose i want to change l select it select the one you like bingo select e select the one you like oh i have a lot of choices here um i would go with this one this is beautiful now uh, there's a problem here What's the problem? Problem is there's a lot of space between S and L here. We want to reduce that. How do we do it? We don't want to uh, decrease the size of the font or decrease the size of the space. There's a very easy way out. That is select the space between S and L, press and hold Alt or Option in Mac and keep pressing the left arrow key until you think the spacement is all right placement spacement i don't know whatever okay we are good to go suppose you want to insert an ornament to it a decoration like a line or a border or something like that what do you do let's go to another layer select the text icon okay click here and now select ornaments you have a lot of ornaments to insert right now so if i click on this this is an ornament I can move it and uh, add anywhere I like. Maybe here, maybe here. It's looking beautiful here. So that's what an ornament is. And you have a, a lot of ornaments to choose from. So that's why I like this font. You have a lot of customizations to it. Not only this font, a lot of fonts have customizations. You just have to go Windows, Glyphs, and there you have it. The only problem that you might face is this feature is in the Adobe uh, Photoshop CC version. So if you are using any older version like CS6, CS5 or older than that, you might not have this feature. But there is a way around. The thing is, if you are using an older version, what do you have to do? Suppose you want to change the C. Let's turn the ornament off. Suppose I want to change the C. I'll, uh, the text option is selected. I'll click here. The character bar the character bar panel opens and then i click here and then i go to open type and i go stylistic alternates and then i have an alternate 
That's how you do it when you are on an older version of Photoshop. Now this being done, let's turn it back on and now let's bring in an image. Let's take it to another level. So let's group these two layers and I have an image where I can insert this text. Now the thing is, what if I want to move the whole group to another document? I'm not talking about copying and pasting. I'm talking about moving the whole group. I mean, both the layers to another document. What do we have to do? The group is selected. Now click here and go duplicate group. Select the image that you would like to transfer to. The, for this example, it's piano.jpg where we have to transfer the group to and click OK. And when I open it, you'll see the whole group is transferred here. Now let's resize this thing and arrange it somewhere where, where it will look good. It looks good, but the thing is the black is not visible now. Now let's change the color. To change the color, if I select the group, both uh, the text layers are selected. I'll go to T and then change the color from black to white. Does it change color? No, it doesn't. I have to select the text layers. To select both the text la layers, what do you have to do? Click on one, hold the control button or command on the Mac and click on the other. Both of them are now selected. Now go to T, select the color, color white and you're good to go. Now it's looking beautiful. Let's now, uh, let's now resize it but there's another problem the problem is the m the portion of the m which is above uh, the the you know the the metal which is uh, the background of which is white the problem is it's getting mixed with it we want it to stand out we want it to show some contrast so what do we have to do we have to darken the background a little for that select the background layer add an adjustment layer I'm so sorry. Add an adjustment layer of solid color. Select black. Okay. And now let's decrease the opacity to around 50 ish and it's good to go. So it's looking beautiful. If you want to decrease the opacity further, you can. But I think for this example, 40, 45 is fine. Now, guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. This is Unmesh from Pixel Perfect, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay tuned.